Hi friends, happy holidays. Guess who's coming to dinner? You are, and that is why today we are setting the table. So before I begin, I would like to say a special thank you to my dear friend Mesha Thompson for sponsoring this video and this tablescape. So all the items presented today were sponsored by her. She shipped them and I got them. And I can tell you that she does an amazing tablescape every year. So it wasn't a surprise. It isn't a surprise that I enlisted her help to do this year's tablescape. I am going to be removing the bubble wrap from each plate. As you can see, she <laughs> ensured that while shipping, they got here in one piece. And these plates, I can tell you the quality is amazing and i will show you an up close picture these plates are from johnson's brothers and they were made in england so i will be removing the wrapping from each plate the quality of these plates are beyond me so for this tablescape video, you know that she sent the best and I truly appreciate it. So these are they. My dining table has six seats, so we will be decorating or setting the table for six visitors. So who's the lucky visitors that will come and join us for dinner? today. So while I remove the bubble wrap from the plates, I will just speed things up and you can listen to some music in the meantime. These are the smaller plates that will go in the center of the bigger plates. So. I will definitely cherish these items and hopefully I will host a dinner party in the near future and I will use them and they're not just, you know, decor items. To begin setting the table, I will first be adding the runner and I am using a white, but it has a silver reflection on it and I will just be adding the runner to the center of the table. To start, there we go. It's looking pretty already. Let's make sure that it's even. So to set the table, first I will be using 
a charger and this is the color wine red that I'm using it goes with my decor red and white so this is what I am using today and I will set the camera so you can get a close-up shot of how I set the first plate so as I said before I am using a wine red charger so first I add my charger then I will add my dinner plate my dessert plate to fold my napkin I fold it like this into a triangle triangle first another mini triangle another one and then I roll this in roll the next side in flip it and then I will add my ring so this is what it looks like folded center the plate and we will leave it on the plate as this so this is how our plate is looking I will go ahead and do the other six plates and then we can do the silverware. add the center plates and I love this plate and the design it fits like a puzzle and I will show you at the end it is this is just so gorgeous triangle first then fold it in make another triangle another one roll it in roll it in flip and you add the napkin ring and you bring it down almost to the center there you go and we will place that there gorgeous as you can see you know it's metal I love it so I'll add these to the table oh my gosh this is gorgeous this is what we have done so far it looks amazing the view of the Christmas tree so for today's silverware, I will be using a basic setup for silverware. I won't be doing, you know, I will just be using today a dinner fork, a knife, a dessert fork, and a soup spoon. So if you notice, well, I'll, I'll show you this. If you notice here, how the fork and spoon is presented here, this is the basic table setting. So the dessert fork, the dinner fork goes to the left, the same placement as here. So they actually show you how to do it when you purchase your silverware. So this is a good way to know how to, um, you know, lay the table it's exactly like this but the 
knife and the spoons go to this side. So let's do that. To the left, the fork is yours, and to the right, the spoon and the knife is yours. So, just a tip to know where your utensil starts and where it stops. The spoon, and then we'll add the soup spoon. We are done setting our silverware down and our plates. It is now time to add our drinking glasses, and today I am using these crystals for the middle um, plates and then for the head table I'll be using these two tulip wine glasses these came in a set of four so I had to improvise now the placement of your drinking glass on a basic table setting you place it to the top left of your knife so as I said before your glass goes top left of your knife and that is where we are placing the glass so wrong glass <laughs> this is to go here and the two head table will have the tulip drinking glass wine glass so top left of the knife just like that so we have we have one more and we will add it here to complete our table we are going to now be adding our centerpiece which will tie everything in and I will be turning this this way because that's how I would walk on to it so for this centerpiece I I pretty much made it if you've seen me changing my flowers each week you would have seen this vase and I am just repurposing the vase and I added some Christmas berries you know these things I got from the Dollar Tree these I got but I also glued some berries some red berries to the center of the poncettas I believe they are so also to the center I will be adding these candles but as you can see they are too short and it doesn't complement the main centerpiece so what I will do is I'm going to improvise as I do not have a candle holder and I will be using these two short glasses and adding them to the top to create some height and then here we go and I will create some height as well on this side it is looking gorgeous. I love it. Let me like, twist this a little bit more. Now that I am done setting the table, I will add the chairs, the head chairs, and the side chairs are actually stools, which is perfectly fine. And then I will give you a look at our table it's looking so good i love it here we have a finished look at our tablescape today and the details i love i love the runner as you can see as i was explaining earlier the drinking glasses go to the left top left of the knife we can 
take a look at the placement of each table go down to the details the plate looks amazing the view as well of the Christmas tree the Santa painting it is just gorgeous I wish you could see it in person because this ooh, is luxury I love it let's get the details of this poncetta napkin ring it is gorgeous Friends, this is the end of today's video and I do hope that this video gave you all the feels for the holiday season and I can't wait to see what you do with your dining table for this holiday season. See you next time. Happy Holidays!